last! That was a risky move, but we made it back all right. Hear, hear. It's not like Tiz to go out on a limb like that. But we survived, and that's what counts. The Vesto. <clears throat> he must be exhausted. He's sound asleep. You did well to carry him on your back all this way, Tiz. You must be tired, too. I'm fine. More importantly, this boy may know of a way into the Temple of Fire. We should ask him now. Don't you agree, Anya? I do, if that is true. First, let's head to Commander Goodman's residence and give the boy a chance to rest. boy? His parents were part of our household guard. They lost their lives three years ago protecting my husband. We hadn't heard from Aegle since then. To think that he had been forced to work in the mithril mine. Mrs. Goodman, could we ask you to look after Aegle here for a while? We can't take him with us where we're going. Yes, of course. Awake. Where am I? I, I, I have to to hurry. Hurry, where? The fire vestal asked me to help. I have to go. Where is this? Where am I? Wait, Eagle. Eagle. Thank you for rescuing me, but I have to go back to the Mithril Mine. We've recaptured the mine from the Sword Bearers. You don't have to work there anymore. All your friends have been freed. I still have to go back. Go back where? Does this have something to do with the Fire Vestal, Eagle? That's right. Did you meet her? No, I've never met her before, but I sometimes see her in my dreams. I really do. She always seems sad and tells me, go to the deepest tunnel. Lead the wind there. Uh, the wind? The deepest tunnel? Does it lead somewhere? Yes. Who are you? She is the wind vestal. What? That means... This tunnel may lead into the Temple of Fire. Even in death, it seems the Fire Vestal is trying to fulfill her duty through Egil's dreams. I must see this done. I must. Egil, show me the way to this tunnel. Got it! Leave it to me! Wait! Egil's in no state to go anywhere. Why do you object, Tiz? Because it's dangerous. Tiz, how is Aegle? He's asleep at last. Idea is with him now. Agnes and Eri are in a half. We couldn't let Aegle take them into the mine. It's too dangerous. Hmm. You know, ever since we found Eggle, you've stopped having your nightmares, Tiz. Huh? Really?
I'll leave Eagle in your capable hands. Understood. Be careful out there. Where is Eagle now? He's holed up in his room. He won't let anyone in. We can't take him with us. Even so. No matter. I questioned him thoroughly about the location of this passageway. Let's set out then. told you not to follow us! <sighs> Are you listening to me, Ego? But I'm the only one who knows how to open up the way through. What? You have to squeeze into a really tight hole to open up the way through. You'd never be able to fit. Not in a million years. You said nothing about this back at the house. You tricked us. I didn't trick you. I just left that part out. It's the same thing! Anyway, I'm small enough to fit through a silly little hole. But you're too tiny to move the stone lever that opens the passage up. What stone lever? You didn't say anything about that! Nope, I didn't. Well, we'll have to take Eggle with us now. That's the only way to awaken the crystal. We can't do that! What if he gets hurt? No need to yell at Anya's Tiz! What are you so upset about? I... What do you propose then, Tiz? Will you make him go back by himself? I wouldn't do that. We'll go back with him. What if the sword bearers or black blades beat us to the temple? Egil was just attacked by the enemy, right? He was held prisoner by them before as well. They may already be aware of this passage you found. But... I believe we should focus on the task of awakening the crystal. Exactly! To cleanse the darkness from this world, we must accept some risk and some sacrifices. Never! What are you saying, Eri? I don't want anyone to be sacrificed. I won't allow it! What then? You have been impossible lately, Tiz. You are trampling upon the will of Egil, the late fire vessel, and me. As a vessel, I cannot let you do this. Do not interfere with my mission. H hey, both of you need to calm down. He reminds me of my little brother who died. Till. What? When that chasm opened up and Norende was swallowed by darkness. 
My little brother, about the same age as Ego, he fell along with it, right before my eyes. I couldn't save him. I couldn't hold on to Till's hand any longer. The look on his face as he stared back at me and fell into that black pit hasn't left my mind ever since. The same goes for the water vestal. It was agony, watching her life fade in front of me. I couldn't bear to watch Anyas cling to her and weep. I've seen enough death to last a lifetime. That's why I don't want to lead Egil into peril, even if it is to deliver the world from danger. Hmm. Then why don't you try to stop Agnes from facing danger, Tiz? Because I know that no matter what, Agnes would just go off on her own. And I promised Agnes that I'd stay at her side to be there. To protect her. Tis. Well, there's your answer. Huh? What do you mean? We'll go together with Ego. Tis will protect him. We all will. Right? <sighs> Please, let me go! I want to see the Fire Vestal's wishes carried out! You win. But you're not to go wandering off without us, okay, Egil? Got it. Thanks. Uh, um. Huh? What? Never mind. It's nothing. Let's move on. Be careful, okay? I will. I know. It's a fresh sign. <sighs> Let it go, Abel. The war will be over soon. Then you won't have to worry about finding Mithril anymore. When we find some of this, we get eggs with our dinner. <laughs> it's my lucky day! Oh.
sounds a blast of hot air. The Temple of Fire must be down here. Let us hurry. This cave is the same as the one from my dreams. The Fire Vestal told me the way to go. The Temple of Fire is... that way! Great! Way to go, Eagle! <laughs> I only know because the Fire Vestal told me. It's nothing special. I bet you're glad you brought me, though, right? Yes, yes. Let's get going.
Are you getting tired, Eagle? Yeah, it's hot down here. Let's take a little break then. That okay with you, Agnes? Oh, okay. Hey, Eagle. What will you do when the war ends? Hmm, I don't know. Isn't there anything you're passionate about? I'd like to go to military academy. Then I want to be a guardsman for the shield bearers. My mother and father died noble deaths protecting the top shield bearers. The soldiers of the shield bearers served to protect the fire vestal. I want to shield people like my mother and father did. Is that so? But I guess I need to find a place to live before that. I have no home to go back to now. 
After my mother and father died, my grandfather took me in. He was really kind, but he got sick and died soon after. I had nowhere to go, and then I ran into some sword bearers who were rounding up orphans. They took me to the mithril mine. I see. You've done well to survive on your own. <laughs> I guess I have. Are you thirsty, Egil? We should rest a bit. Yeah. Sorry. I have to keep my promise to the Fire Vestal. I don't want to run out of steam before then. You hold the Fire Vestal dear, don't you, Egil? Your faith in crystallism is strong for such a young boy. Well, my mother and father were followers. I'm not sure what I believe in yet. The teachings of crystallism are a bit over my head. I don't really know what to make of them. Then why do you brave such perils? Because I made the Fire Vestal a promise, that's all. She always looked so sad in my dreams. <laughs> I just want to see her smile for a change. Oh.
That crevice leads into the temple. The earthquakes are getting stronger. Watch your step. If you die here, Anyas, the world's last hope will perish with you. I know. It's shaking again. The ground's collapsing under us. Run! Right, Eagle. Yeah. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> you really gave us a scare. I could say the same of you. Huh? We all said we'd help Eagle, and yet you left in alone. <laughs> here it's just your face is covered in mud on yes what and where exactly did you think you were going on yes <laughs> that was a shock you picked a bad time to show you have no sense of direction <laughs> uh, 
The way Agnes caught both of you with those spindly arms of hers is a story I'll pass down to my grandchildren. I didn't know you had it in you, Agnes. I've got eyes like a hawk, yet you kept it hidden all this time. It was just the adrenaline. I surprised even myself. So you acted without thinking whether you could pull it off? Uh, yes. I'm just glad we're all safe and sound. Uh, Tiz, and Adia, and Ringabel. I'm so sorry for saying such terrible things. Well, will you still stay at my side? Of course! Oh, not you, Eggle. <laughs> he took my line! <laughs> We have to hurry to the Temple of Fire! Come on! Time is running out! to pieces <gasps> it was no accident these were destroyed the ones who attacked the temple left in this table. <laughs> Unlike the Temple of Wind or Water, this travesty was at the hands of man. So this is where the Fire Vestal met her end.
Isn't this the garb of a Vestal? You're right. They look a lot like your garments, Agnes. These are her clothes! The Fire Vestal was wearing these when she came to me in my dream! Strange that only her ceremonial garb would escape destruction. She'll never get to wear them again. Huh.
of Awakening. I'll help you get changed on yes. Would you? We're ready to go! Let us begin, Eri. Wow. You look... beautiful. Are you blushing, Eagle? Of course not! Don't be silly! No need to be shy. Any man would be hard-pressed to pull his gaze from Agnes now. Uh, hey, what are you looking at me for? No reason. Come on, let's hurry this up! Everyone but Agnes, stay back!
don't know that for sure yet. Anyhow, we better go report to Commander Good. did what? You went to the Temple of Fire? There was a way in through the Mithril Mine? Yes. We have awakened the Fire Crystal. That should quell Mount Karka's fury. That is excellent news. Thank you, Wind Vestal. We owe you and your companions our thanks. One thing. After we awaken the Fire Crystal, all the veins of ore in the mine disappeared. I see. Oh, no need to look so dejected. This is actually good news for us. After all, the mithril warheads the sword bearers fired upon us were a source of great concern. This should change the course of the war. If we are lucky, it may end soon. Once the eruption of Mount Karka subsides, we will also work to restore the Temple of Fire as quickly as we can. I would appreciate that. The Fire Vestal should be given a proper funeral without delay. After all, we were only able to awaken the Fire Crystal through the help of Ego here and the Fire Vestal. Is that so? Fine work, Ego. You have my thanks, too. <laughs> what will become of the Canary Boys, who were working in the mine? They were all without homes to go back to, so we will harbor them here in Heart's Child. The townspeople will see that they are cared for. I'm glad to hear that. You'll be seeing your friends again soon, Abel. Yeah. Well, you are all tired, I dare say. Please get some rest while you sojourn in Heart's Child. What's the matter, Eagle? I don't want to live in this town. What? Why not? I want to go with you! Huh? That's simply not... So, you wish to fight by our side, hmm? Oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to fight. But I still want to go with you. Please, take me with you. I'll do anything you ask. It just won't work. Even if you say no, I'm still going! Then we have a problem. Let's go to Commander Goodman's residence. We've decided to take Aegle in. My husband has agreed that it would be best. You hear that, Eagle? That's great news! 
You couldn't wish for a better family than the Goodmans. <sighs> I hope that when you grow up, we'll see an age free from the ravages of war. I would hate to see you end up a soldier. I believe your husband has what it takes to make that happen. Thank you for your kind words. Well then, Eagle, you take care of yourself. We'll be back to check on you, so be on your best behavior. <clears throat> I will. Goodbye, everyone. of that ship I have no idea oh you're back has something happened oh uh, we've just been seeing a mysterious ship pass by us in this harbor ever since the Civil War started it gives me the creeps it's an old sailing ship that's falling to pieces it always shows up on foggy nights has it tried to harm you no it's just an eerie sight to see. We sometimes hear screams coming from it as well. Screams? Well, not exactly screams, more like really loud muttering. You can hear it even when the ship is way off in the distance. It says something like, no, no, not here. Perhaps they're looking for something? When do you see the ship? The last time was a night about two weeks ago. It always sails across the eastern end of this harbor from north to south.
Have you ever heard of the siren song? I have. A strange voice you hear out at sea, right? Sailors who hear the song become captivated by it and throw themselves overboard. It's a common tale. That's right. The siren song that causes all to cast themselves into the sea. When I was even younger than you are now, there was a time it was heard throughout the whole ship. A siren song? Was everyone okay? It caused great panic among young and old. But a traveling bard who happened to be aboard said something that calmed everyone down. All you have to do is sing above the siren's voice. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? He conducted us in song with his baton all night long, and the siren was defeated. Wow, that's quite a story. Where did the bard go? Uh, who knows? He set off again soon after. One of the elders here might know. Where did this fog come from? Look at that! Is that what I think it is? <gasps> it's heading for us! What do we do? There's nobody on board. No, don't be so sure. It is haunted by the ghosts of the crew. Ah! You mean, this is a ghost ship? A shame that only the souls of men inhabit this place. I'd happily lay the souls of women to rest. Aha! Guess that yet breathe a rare honor. <laughs> Captain of the ship? Close! I am actually the acting captain! The real captain is right here at my side. But I suppose you can't see him, can you? So this is a g ghost ship. Welcome to our pirate ship, the SS Funky Francisca! I am Captain Barbarossa, leader of the Black Blades Naval Force. The Black Blades? You must be the Wind Vester and her companion. A pleasure to meet you. What? How do you know of us? I am a ranking member of the Black Blades. Of course I've kept abreast of your comings and goings, Vestal. You have made quite a name for yourselves, in fact. Were you not aware 
<laughs> I have looked forward to meeting you in battle one day. <laughs> I leave the helm to you, we make. We'll make this a fair fight. Yar! Yar! The ship is coming apart! How clumsy of me to step through the deck. <laughs> no ghost is that clumsy. He must be alive. I am indeed the genuine article. A man in the flesh. Though the only one among my crew. <laughs> Why the ghost ship? I sail this ship in search of a certain something, prized by the commander and myself. A certain something? You might call it adventure. Surely you don't have to be a man of the sea to know that. I know what you speak of. A man's soul craves nothing more than the romance of adventure. Well, aren't you two getting on famously, Ringabel? Perhaps it is something women and children can never understand. If you think about it rationally, it does seem absurd. But absurd or not, it is adventure I seek. And the years I have spent wandering the seas in folly have shown me many truths. That's it! The truth! Now! Let us have a little fun. See how you fare against my great axe. Invested me, Windvestal. Such power. <laughs> Forgive me, Suleiman. Commander, it seems my time is up.
Uh, who are you? I'm a distant relative of the innkeep. He's too sick to get up and about, so I'm filling in for him. He's bedridden? Is it serious? Not at all. The doctor says he doesn't need to stay in bed, but... Well, you should see for yourself. Well... We'd better go see him then. Are you... feeling okay? <sighs> He's having a nightmare. Owen... I guess he's become despondent since Owen died. His son was everything to him. It must be hard to deal with it alone. What about that girl? She's related to him, right? She has to go back to her home soon, I hear. How do you know that? Uh, oh, it, it just came up. I mean, let's check my journal before things take a turn for the worse, hmm? We'll bring the orphan to the inn we set out from. That sounds relevant, no? Oh, this is the inn we set out from. And the orphan, I guess that means Ego? That's nonsense! Mrs. Goodman has given him a good home. Come to think of it, Ego's parents were guards, just like Owen. He said he was raised by his kind grandfather after they died. But... It doesn't have to be permanent, just until the old man gets better. Do you think we could have Egil stay here a while? I guess that's up to Egil. Right. You look happy. He's been bouncing off the walls ever since this morning when he heard you were coming. He isn't always this way? No. Since you left, he's been moody most of the time. Is that true, Egil? 
Mrs. Goodman is very good to me. And this place is amazing. But I... I still want to travel with you. <sighs> hey, Eagle. Can I tell you something? It's about a captain of the guard who lived in a far-off land. He died in battle, fighting to protect his kingdom. Just like my mother and father. And this man's father, he lies sick in bed at the shock of his loss. The captain's father has been of great help to all of us. We owe him a great deal. I was thinking, if you would spend some time with the captain's father, I believe it might help him get better. What do you think, Eagle? What? So you didn't come to ask me to go with you? That's a shame. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. I can't say no to you. Thank you so much, Eagle. If this is Eagle's decision, I won't stop him. But you come back anytime you want, okay? I will. Thanks for everything, Mrs. Goodman.